you take this stuff seriously. I mean, you weed out, you separate wheat from chaff, things that are illegitimate, you point it out, and you're not shy mm -hmm. about it. But there is a basis for the investigation of these phenomena, and there are people within the military and government who also take it seriously. What is the difference between people like yourself and those who either pay it no attention or dismiss it out of hand without investigation? Well, I think belief system, a lot of it has to do in the West. We have a materialistic belief system that says, you know, there's certain rules on energy and the laws of science that if we move things to smaller and smaller parts, we'll finally have the God particle, uh, which was thought to be the Higgs boson, until we found petaquarks, which were even smaller. Um, see, I deal a lot with shamans. Uh, around the world. And the difference here, in my view, is that, you know, we deal with the real world and the potential spirit world as if they're kind of separate and distinct, if they even exist. You know, scientists probably won't e even believe that a spirit world exists. But the shamans that I deal with move seamlessly back and forth. And frankly, talking to them sometimes is difficult because you've got to say, no, wait a minute. <laughs> You know, is this something we can touch, feel, smell, taste, um, or is this purely, you know, etheric? I mean, some of this can be studied through the scientific method. Some of it seems to transcend or, uh, you know, resist being able to be categorized that way. Well, you know the ranch very well, Skinwalker Ranch, and the problem we had there, and this is where I developed the precognitive sentient phenomena. Something else is in control, and if it wants you to find out, it may allow that, but if it doesn't, this thing just keeps morphing and changing into, you know, new shapes and forms. Um, things we're doing now, we're on camera, we had cameras there, and things would happen just off camera, or sometimes in front of the camera, but you wouldn't see them. Precognitive, as you said, right. because it always seemed to stay one step ahead. Right. It could anticipate what you're going to do. Yeah, before you even know that you're going to do it. Now you had no personal experience there at, at that ranch, but you believe that the, the, in general, that it's a very weird place that the others who report those experiences. No doubt. I mean, these were our guys. I mean, remember, we're talking PhD level scientists, highly credible, highly trained, um, as well. We happen to believe Terry. Uh, again, that grew kind of over time, but you see the physical evidence for the phenomena existing. Um, the NIDS model that was used to study the ranch and other topics like that, is that the, is that the way to go to approach these kinds of, uh, of subject matter? It's about the best we can do at this point. Uh, part of the problem, again, is when you get an R&D into the psi phenomena, the money is minuscule. I've estimated you know, maybe five or ten million dollars for the entire world. And when you compare that to the billions that go into medical research and even diseases that are, you know, rare diseases and things like that, it just pales. And so you've got a problem with high strangeness, incredible complexity, and almost no serious research. The piece that I, um, part of my agenda is to make it or assist in making it uh, viable for serious scientists to research these things without risking their reputation, livelihood, or career. And the problem is you can be attacked, and some very, very senior, if you take guys like Bob John, who was the dean of School of Engineering at Princeton, and yet castigated for having the Princeton Engineering Anomalies Laboratory. John Mack. John Mack is a classic. He was a uh, medical doctor, a Pulitzer Prize winner, who's uh, a tenured professor, and still ended up before a tribunal. It's not supposed to happen in the tenured system. The only time in Harvard's history that they've ever done it, in fact. And it was all because of his work on abduction research. <laughs>